Hey guys, we are continuing Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So the previous episode was somewhat surprising because Hughes was murdered. Before being killed, he found out that well, the, the army, the, the, there has been some sort of an infiltration going on. That's why he wanted to take that phone call outside outside of the headquarters. Yeah, his death was su 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 somehow surprising. I now realize that they have been building him up towards that. They have been showing us his a bit of an annoying side with being obsessed with uh, his, his daughter and crazy about his family life and throwing that in everyone's face basically but through doing that they wanted to show us that he's a good person supporting everyone including uh, Winfrey our boys don't know yet and I think they're going to find out in this episode so we are continuing by the way I need to know are there seasons because I might have to take some sort of a break and I'm just wondering when to do that uh, recording wise Maze Hughes is dead. The military knows little of his killers beyond the fact that they bore mysterious Ouroboros tattoos. Suspicious about the circumstances surrounding his friend's death, Colonel Mustang began asking questions of his own. He learned of a possible conspiracy at the senior level of military command, which only redoubled his resolve to be promoted to Central. Meanwhile, anxious to see their old teacher, Ed and Al continued their journey southward with Winry in tow, unaware of the death of Lieutenant Colonel Hughes. Wait, miracle at Rush Valley. Is there a conspiracy at the higher levels because i thought is this our our conversation with the general the boss oh my god this looks like zone in arcane league of legends very industrial welcome to the holy land of automate well good for her hey should have dropped winry off at the station and headed straight to dublin hey kid come back here a sec I've never seen an like, model Hey kids! It really is unusual. Everyone take a look. Oh, I bet there's a lot of criminals there. This is why I steer clear of auto mail engineers. Damn. It's crazy how that's attached to him. What did you lose? Only the thing that proves I'm a state alchemist. My silver watch. Oh It sounds like you guys had a run in with Panina. A pickpocket around here who likes to target tourists. Do you know how I can track down this? That's Benina what I girl? said. She took something important. It looks Let's like see, it's a place with lots of criminals. I it might jog my memory. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're gonna have just one more look at that auto mail. The auto mail shop run by an engineer named Dominic. <laughs> oh god damn. Apparently this guy lives deep in the mountains because he can find the highest quality ore way out here. Are you absolutely sure we're going in the right direction? What are you complaining about? This is all your fault for dragging us that stupid automail down in the first place. My fault? You're the one who was dumb enough to let his watch get stolen! Oh, really? Hey, you guys. What the hell? Could that be her? Huh? So it's a girl. Oh, she was in the crowd. We saw her in the crowd. <laughs> I got you now! Wouldn't that be a crime? To steal that? I heard it. <laughs> but I mean bigger bigger than theft, you know, taking like something watch, that man. important. That was awesome. How'd you do that, mister? I'm an alchemist. Wow, so cool. What's the matter? Can't catch a little girl? <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Wow, way to overdo it for, for a pickpocketer. Why don't you hand it over? My watch <laughs> Oh, she has a metal leg. Come on, you can't be too surprised. You've seen the town, haven't you? Oh, and... My other leg's got a 1.5-inch cannon. What do you think of that? Why don't we see if you can catch me? Okay, she's annoying. <laughs> Just give it back. That wasn't so hard. Nice work, Winry. No way I'm letting her go. Not quite yet, anyway. Not until I've had a closer look at that auto mail. <laughs> oh, hello there, Panina. Friend of yours? Not really. Oh, so she's just a, a decent person, eh? The design of this piece is truly a work of art. It's incredible. Uh, <laughs> do you think we could have a talk about my watch? You're a wonderful engineer. Oh, no, don't look at me, miss. I wasn't the one who made them. I am. <laughs> oh. He looks like an action movie veteran. This arm seems a bit heavy. Like yes, Clint Eastwood. Yes, <laughs> you want to be more careful not to strain your outfitty. Hey, shut up! 
He's been undressing a lot in this episode. It is a possibility. Whoa, brother, you're so big! Next to me, you guys sure look small. Stop! No way. That settles it. Mr. Dominic, I beg you, make me your apprentice! Not a chance, girl. Maybe you'd like more time to consider the idea? No need. I don't take on apprentices. I understand, but maybe you can take time out of your busy schedule to teach her how to make auto mail to make me taller. Can it, you little flea? <laughs> Can't he make this a military order? Sorry about that. My old man can be pretty stubborn. A little flea. Call me a flea. Hmm? Excuse me, but are you having a baby? Why, yes, I am. Would it be all right if I touched your tummy? Go right ahead. Poor little orphans. We were inside mom's tummy like this once upon a time, too. Yeah. Oh. Are you okay? Yes. Whenever it pours down like this, my stumps always get achy. If you don't mind me asking, what happened? I was in a train accident when I was a kid. It killed my parents. I wound up losing both my legs in the wreck. I couldn't even walk anymore. It felt like my entire world had come crashing down. That's when I met Mr. Dominic and everything changed completely. Oh, so she's not family. Oh, poor little girl. Stop. So sad. You've been the most miserable, pathetic girl in the entire world. Nothing annoys me more than mopers like you. Let me go, you mean old man. He said I had eyes like a dead person. Probably not far off. Without anyone ever asking my opinion, I was outfitted with auto male legs. The surgery and rehabilitation were painful, by far the hardest thing I've ever done. Soon enough, I was back up on two legs and I was so happy. All thanks to him. I owe him everything. I'm gonna pay him back somehow, even if it takes me my whole life. That's why you're So you steal? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so grateful to him. You should clean up your act and stop picking pockets. That's true. Mr. Dominic gave you these legs out of a selfless act of goodwill. Instead of stealing trinkets from hapless tourists, stand strong on those two legs that he made for you. Mr. Dominic would respect you more for doing that than for stealing. Oh. You know what? You're right. From now on, I'll work honestly to pay him back myself. I should probably give this thing back. Mm -hmm. I think I may have broken it or something. Can't get it to open. Let me see. It's been sealed up using alchemy. Why would he do that? I think I have a pretty good idea why. Why? Something's in here he's too embarrassed to let anyone see. Maybe you shouldn't open it. Let's have a little look at what Ed was hiding. Could be a military secret. Or her photo. Don't forget, October 3rd, year 11. A date? The here. date where mother died? give this back to Ed. What is it, Winry? Nothing. I'm going to ask Mr. Dominic to apprentice me again. Maybe the, the day when mother died or when they tried to bring her back? What's wrong? The, the bay. The bay? Uh, the bay! Uh, the baby's coming! The baby's coming! <laughs> in a storm like this, we can't get her to the hospital in town. I'll fetch the doctor myself. Just hang on a little longer for me, okay? There's no hanging on here. It'll come whenever it's ready to. What's the matter, hon? Sorry, I'm so sick. It's a bit. Uh, it's, it's coming. Uh, sorry, one more time? I couldn't hear that. I said it's coming! <laughs> Is this a first baby? What do we do? The doctor's not here! Oh, what a shot. Damn. We're just going to have to do it. Deliver it. So you've seen a baby being delivered before? I haven't, but we don't have any other options here. I need everyone's help. We are going to do this. Ed and Al, go and get me some boiling water. That's so scary. Virginia, go find some towels. Are we sure your friend can handle this? Winry comes from a family of doctors. She grew up reading medical textbooks instead of picture books like most kids her age. Oh. That's all well and good, but it isn't exactly the same as a medical degree. It's clear that she at least vaguely remembers some of it. Some of it? <laughs> Wait, so what was his plan anyway? Boiling water, disinfectant, towels, and what else was there? Scissors. Now. You, you can, can do, do this. this. Okay, person we have met Anemia. half an hour ago. <laughs> Really counts. I can't do anything. I know we're not big believers in God. Maybe he could help us. This once.
sort of freaked out with that show because people keep dying occasionally. I can't do it anymore. What's going on? Hey. Oh, this is such a baby. It's just so small. It's a real life baby. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> awesome. How else should I describe it? This is the birth of a new life. A person creating another person. You've got to be kidding me. Now you're lumping in alchemy with the miracle of birth? An occupational hazard. Whatever you say, it really is awesome. People are awesome. Do you think you could pick me up, please? Huh? It's humiliating to be carried by a boy who's smaller than I am. Could easily drop you, you know. Right, so... What is it? I saw it. The engraving that's inside your pocket watch. Oh, oh. Ah! Ow, ow, ow! That really hurt! You forced it open? That's a big deal. I mean, it's clear that that is important. She probably knows it yeah, and he I'm knows so it. Sorry. You idiot. Yeah. Well, it would happen. Because if it's the mother thing, then it's pretty obvious that he... That we have shown that to anybody, not even Al. Why? Why? Why not, Ed? It's private. An admonition to myself. I hate to admit how weak I am, but I had to give what happened that day's substance and then carry it around with me as a reminder. Wait, wait, why are you doing that? What are you crying for? Oh, there's no turning back for us now, brother. What are you crying for, Winry? You two won't cry. Someone else should do it for you, don't you think? Don't be an idiot. We should get back to Rizimbul. I'm not leaving. Why? Seeing your resolve inspired me. I want to do more, Ed. There's no need to get more involved. I want to hone my skills so I'll be able to make you the finest quality automail prosthetics. I'm going to try again. I'll ask Mr. Dominic to make me his apprentice. So the boy we see in the okay. intro song, it has to be... Well, good luck. Edward, because he's gonna be able to Mr. grow up. That's why we've been hearing about how small Ed is. I'll be That's right there, okay? Amazing. Yeah. Hello there, I'm your granddad. What a cute oh, I thought he meant Winfrey. I was like, whoa, that's Mother creepy. <laughs> look perfectly healthy. Well done. Sometimes even adults can't take being present at childbirth. We did what we had to, that's all. We are truly in your debt. What you did was amazing. Thank you. Please, sir, there's really no need to thank Oh, me. yeah. Oh, goodness, now you're gonna make me... Blush. There is a need. Maybe you could make an exception and take on an apprentice. I don't take on apprentices and that's... Well, that. do you now? If that's what your heart's set on, I can recommend you to an accomplished engineer at the base of the mountain. Would it be okay if I came by and watched you work sometimes? I won't stop you from coming once in a while to see my grandchild. Same goes for the tomboy. He called her a tomboy? If we miss this train, there's not another one for three days. Thank you. And don't forget to call Granny and keep her posted. Oh, please. Like, you're really one to talk, Ed. And make sure to steal that old man's technique so you'll have something even better for me the next time I see you. Okay? Oh, man. Now I'm sort of shipping them to. <laughs> well, that's it. They're gone. They'll be back. I'm sure they'll be back. I really enjoyed that episode. I really like going back to Ed's memories. Like, I really like these episodes that are a bit slower, when we can sort of get more introspective when it comes to Edward and Al, and especially the way they burned down their house so they wouldn't have a place to go back to. But it makes so much sense that the metal leg and the metal arm are, are holding Ed back from growing up, because how would he? His arm, his leg would be too small. I, I don't know how that would work technically, but this is another universe, so. I'm hoping that Winfrey, that she learns how to do that. I'm sure she will, because like I said before in that intro song, that boy is surely, that's surely Ed when he's a bit taller and maybe there will be even a time jump. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Unedited episodes are on Patreon and I'll see you soon. Stay safe, guys. Bye.